Welcome friends. Let's discuss overview to Washington State teacher certification. Certification requirements are subject to change. The certificated professional is responsible for being knowledgeable about current and revised regulations. It is the responsibility of the certificate holder to understand and follow certification policies and procedures, including meeting deadlines, completing applications, and fulfilling requirements for maintaining their certificate. In Washington, the first level of certification for most new teachers is the residency certificate. Note that requirements for the residency certificate fulfills requirements for a substitute certificate which does not expire. Some requirements for the residency certificate include a complete application with license fee, evidence of good moral character and personal fitness, a bachelor's degree from an accredited college or university, completion of a state-approved teacher preparation program, training to teach at least one endorsement area, and passing scores on basic skills and endorsement tests. The first issue of a residency certificate does not expire, but it is subject to reissue. Once a teacher has 1.5 years as a continuing employee, the residency certificate is reissued with a three-year expiration date. Work in private schools or schools outside of Washington or substitute work in Washington is not counted as part of the 1.5 FTE, which triggers reissue. Teachers employed half-time or quarter-time in a public school in Washington accumulate experience toward the 1.5 FTE threshold. For example, three years of half-time employment would total 1.5 FTE, or six years of quarter-time employment would total 1.5 FTE. During the three-year period between reissue and expiration, the holder of the reissued residency certificate must complete requirements for the professional certificate. Requirements for the professional certificate include passing either the ProTeach Performance Assessment or the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards Assessment, abbreviated NBPTS. Earning the professional certificate also requires coursework or in-service on identifying, reporting, and preventing child abuse, which most teachers complete as a requirement of their teacher preparation program. Teachers holding a reissued residency certificate and who have come to the end of the third year without passing ProTeach or NBPTS may apply to renew the residency certificate for two additional years. Granting a renewal requires attestation that the holder will register and complete the ProTeach assessment or the NBPTS assessment. The holder of a two-year renewed residency certificate who fails the online portion of the ProTeach assessment or the NBPTS assessment or who has a break in service such as leave of absence or reduction in force is eligible for an additional two-year renewal to add time for passing either ProTeach or NBPTS. The holder of a twice renewed residency certificate who fails the ProTeach assessment or the NBPTS assessment at the conclusion of the second renewal period must have a five-year break in service before seeking employment in Washington public schools. After the five-year break, the holder of an expired residency certificate may be hired by a district on an emergency certificate in order to re-establish permanent certification status. ProTeach is a performance assessment designed for Washington teachers seeking advancement from the residency to professional certificate. ProTeach focuses on effective teaching, professional development, and professional contributions. There are 12 criteria associated with ProTeach, which have been authorized by the Professional Educator Standards Board. The portfolio includes three entries, professional growth and contributions, building a learning community, and curriculum instruction and assessment. Each entry includes the standard fare of performance assessment stuff, including rubrics, commentary prompts, analysis of evidence, and the like. The National Board for Professional Teaching Standards is another performance assessment which focuses on five principles. Teachers are committed to students and their learning. 
know the subjects they teach and how to teach those subjects to students, are responsible for managing and monitoring student learning, think systematically about their practice and learn from experience, and are members of a learning communities. The assessment is divided into two parts, a computer-based content knowledge test and a portfolio. The portfolio includes three entries, differentiation of instruction, teaching practice and learning environment, and effective and reflective practitioner. Each entry includes rubrics, writing prompts, and analysis of evidence. Once a professional certificate is earned, it is valid for five years. However, for those teachers who pass the NBPTS assessment to transition from the residency to the professional certificate, the expiration is 10 years. The professional certificate is reissued every five years by completing an annual professional growth plan. A professional growth plan is the document which identifies the specific competencies, knowledge, skills, and experiences needed to meet the standards at the career level benchmarks which are authorized by the Professional Educator Standards Board. The plan shows steps the teacher intends to implement for growth over the coming year including goals, a rationale or explanation of outcomes, the specific career level standards defined by the Professional Educator Standards Board, specific activities used to achieve the goals, outcomes, and standards, sources of evidence used to justify progress toward meeting the goals, such as student work samples, reflections, written on lessons, student test scores, and the like. The plan also includes a review of the evidence by a colleague or supervisor, reflection describing next steps, and signatures of the teacher and reviewing colleagues or supervisors. The career standards are a key part of the plan. Some example standards include the following. Using multiple instructional strategies to address individual student needs. Using a variety of assessments to monitor and improve instruction. Creating a safe, productive learning environment. And integrating technology. Although district human resource personnel may assist teachers in keeping track of dates and requirements associated with reissue and renewal of certificates, it is the responsibility of the certificated professional for being knowledgeable about current and revised regulations and for following certification policies and procedures. Resources for answering questions about certification include the Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction and the Professional Educator Standards Board. In addition, OSPI uses an internet-based platform called eCertification to facilitate administration of certificates, such as checking the certificate type, renewing a certificate, reissuing a certificate, or requesting copies of a certificate.